spring is bursting out everywhere. Everything is budding, everything is turning green. It's like an explosion of green and colorful flowers as I drive down the highway, it's amazing. Tomorrow is a very exciting day. Tomorrow is the very first official seed and plant swap of 2023. So I'm getting a bunch of stuff ready to take to trade for some new stuff. All right, so I've got to figure what I'm gonna to take to this plant swap tomorrow. I know there's a lady that wants asparagus. I'll probably bring some cabbages and broccolis. But how much? <laughs> Maybe I'll bring some fennel too. Um, let's see. How much can I fit in my car? That's the other question. I'm getting the tea roses ready to go. I've got one more tea rose I need to uh, dig up and then an elderberry I need to dig up to take with me too. I was going to take a quick shot this morning before we left of my trunk all packed up with stuff to go swap. And we were running a little bit late so I didn't get that. But we got some cool stuff. We got some seeds for cantaloupes and watermelons. And I got an aloe plant, which I'm very excited about. Have you ever eaten aloe? I'll get it from the Asian store. It is so delicious and it's also really good for like heartburn and stuff so you can eat aloe it's really good let me show you what else i got so here's my new aloe i think we should name this aloe what do you think we should name it let me know down below i'm excited this bag is irises I think she gave me some of the Egyptian walking onions. I've never grown those before, that's gonna be fun. I think that's what these are, is the Egyptian walking onions. From what I've heard, they will just like topple over and keep reproducing, which is pretty cool. The less work you have to do to get food, the better. And then in here, this one is a raspberry. one of the mints. There's an apple mint and an orange mint in here. Those don't have any smell. Let's see. I think this one, I think this one is the apple mint. And I think this one is the orange mint. And then one of these is a flower called Lunaria. Yes, what do you need, baby? You emptied it all out. And then I don't know what the last one is. I'm gonna have to go back and check and see what she gave me. But, yay for new plant day. And it cost, it cost me nothing except for planting a couple extra plants and trading stuff, so very exciting. Bartering and trading plants is, in my opinion, one of the most enjoyable ways to get new plants for your garden. If you 
start with something like a raspberry that will multiply on its own, you have something in the future that you can take to barters and swaps and trade for something new. And if you don't have anything to bring, go anyways. A lot of gardeners are so excited to share what they have with others that they'll just give you something because they're so excited to share the gardening love with newcomers. If you're new to gardening and you're thinking, I don't have anything to share, a couple things you can start with that will multiply on their own are things like some of the bulb flowers. They'll multiply on their own. You can divide them up every year. Um, my elderberry sends out shoots every year that I can then share or trade with people. Strawberries will multiply on their own. Um, a lot of the berry plants like the raspberries, the blackberries, and you can also save seeds from your garden. Um, you can save your watermelon seeds or your sunflower seeds or your marigold seeds and you can trade those every year to get some new things for your garden and it's an easy way to expand at zero cost. I'm really excited to see what colors and types these irises are. You might be thinking, okay, that's great, but how do I find seed swaps near me? One of the places that I have seen them is on Facebook in different homesteading groups or gardening groups that are local here. Um, our library does a great job of promoting the Master Gardener series and they have a seed library. Uh, they can connect you with people. Uh, if you have a local agricultural extension office, that's another great place to look. Um, you can make your own if they're not um, any scheduled where you live. You can use any of the social media. There's other things like Nextdoor, which connects you with people locally around you, because Facebook sometimes connects with people all over the world, so it could be hard to find local events, but Nextdoor connects you with people that live next door, literally. That's how I have found a lot of my um, local kind of homesteady, <laughs> farming kind of events around here. And if there's not one already scheduled, then schedule your own. Before you know it, you're gonna be the one that has so many plants to share. Have you ever done a seed swap? Have you ever thought about doing a seed swap? What's holding you back if you haven't? I've honestly even seen people on Craigslist listing plants or flowers. I've seen people with signs on the road listing flowers that they have up for grabs. You can get a lot of stuff for free if you just look for it. Hopefully this was helpful. 
I hope that you get to attend a seed or plant swap very soon near you and get to bring home some lovely joy of new plants for the garden. And hopefully you can share some of that joy with other people around you that are new to gardening if you're more advanced and are excited about entering this really fun world. So thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff planted up and put out in the garden and I still have a bunch of broccoli left to put in the ground. So I will see you next time.